Magalan, home to a civilization of millions. Until the comet hit. Earthquakes shattered its cities. Firestorms swept the planet. And as Magalan fell into darkness, the survivors faced a world that was unrecognizable. Fighting amongst the ruins of the old world, new factions arose. The Berserkers. The Clerics. The Outlaws, each with their own vision of the future. But it wasn't only the struggle for scarce old world resources that drove them, for the Comet had bought something new. Elix, an element unknown to Magellan. It could fuel technology, change the evolution of life, open new abilities to those with the will to control it. For the clerics, it drove new technological innovation. For the outlaws, drugs to free their minds. To berserkers, it gave the power of magic. Seduced by Elix's power, some began to consume it. Addicted, overwhelmed, most degenerated into vicious, mindless mutants. But there were some who could control their addiction. To them, at the cost of their emotions, Elix offered strength, focus, and stamina. These people called themselves the Albs. Seemingly unstoppable, the Albs have waged war on all who will stand between them and their need to obtain Elix. Advancing from the frozen wastes of Zaykor and their fortress ice palace, the Albs threaten the future of all the factions on Magellan. Now, as Alb forces prepare their final assault, Jax, renowned Alb commander, is sent on a solo mission. One Alb selected to change the fate of Magellan. consequence for failure.
better move before they come back to finish the job. And I better find a weapon. system. I feel weak. Think. Think, Jax. My weapons. My armor. Did Kallax take them? No. No. If Kallax had seen I was still alive. You three. One of my crony units. It looks like it took a lot of damage in the crash. That... I'm wondering where crony U4 is. If it's still active, then I might find it here in the den. Finding that drone will be helpful. I can. I need to find him. And, for that, I'll need weapons and equipment. Evacuation sequence initiated. Remain calm and proceed to the indicated exits immediately. Follow all instructions from service personnel. Thank you for your visit to the observatory. kilometers of enemy territory and find out why my brother tried to kill me. What could go wrong? Make a habit of attacking people without warning, you should get better at it. I heard you before you even left the ruins. Someone tried to kill me. They stole my armor and my equipment. Then I find you here waiting to finish the job. First you attack me, 
Then you accuse me of being a thief and a murderer? If I wanted you dead, we wouldn't be having this conversation. Trust me. You need to apologize. Prove you're not the thief, and I might trust you. Only facts matter, not words. Huh. Trusting people quickly out here is as good a way to get killed as walking around without a decent weapon. Which means you just got very, very lucky. I can help you find a safe place and new equipment, if you stop trying to attack me. Why would you help me? That's my job. I look for people out here and help them reach Goliat. You'll be safe there. Safe? You could be some kind of slaver. What is it you really want? I want this war to be over. Until then, Goliath needs more people to survive, and people need a safe place to go. Well, a safer place than being out here on your own. But you're welcome to stay and risk being picked up by an Alb raiding party. Between them and the rot boars, you won't live long. Say, you didn't see anyone else up there in the ruins, did you? You're the first person I've found this trip, and it would save me a trip up there to check. Save yourself the effort. There's no one up there. Well, you got really lucky. An Alb Raider crashed a few days ago, and their scouts came through looking for it. Trust me, you don't want to run into a party of Albs. But hey, enough talk. You need to decide what you're gonna do. I'm going back to Goliath, and you can come with me if you like. Safety, security, and you can find work to earn enough to buy equipment. If you want a chance to survive, it's the best offer you'll get. That's why I joined the Berserkers. Out here, drifting, and hoping to stay alive. I knew it was only a matter of time before my luck ran out. I know joining a faction doesn't appeal to everyone, but it gave me purpose. And what have you got to lose right now? Nothing from what I can see. It sounds like you've been brainwashed. Every choice you make adds up in this world. The way you speak to people will determine your course in life. Just take a look at yourself. No armor, no weapons, no companions. You've not exactly succeeded in life, have you? Well, all that changes today. Whatever you've done before, your life can start again. A new beginning. When the next Alb raiding party comes down from the north looking for Elix, the people of Goliath will defend you. You won't see the inside of a converter with us to protect you. Instead, you'll get a chance to prove yourself. To join us. Why do you want to help me? Like I said, Goliath needs people. Warriors, cultivators, hunters, storekeepers. Whatever your skills, we can find a place for you. You'll train me and give me equipment? If you stay, you'll have to earn your place. But be you cleric, outlaw, or alb, that's true everywhere. Sure, you'll get given orders and you'll have to follow the law, but it's not like you have things easy out here. Look, we can keep talking, but at some point, you gotta decide. So, what's it gonna be? Are you gonna stay here or come with me? Your actions and words seem to match. I will trust you, for now. Huh, <laughs> yes, well, I'll take that as a compliment. You won't regret it. Combat, magic. If those interest you, then the Berserkers offer training to people who join their ranks. We'll make a warrior of you. We should get going. This is Rotbor territory. You won't last long if a pack of them turn up here. Follow me to Goliath, and you can earn the Alexa to buy armor and supplies. Trust me, you'll need them. I want to find the thief who took my armor. Well, for anything stolen near here recently, I would start with Ray. He's an outlaw I found out here a few days ago. Very jumpy. Definitely looking for something. Where do I find him? Huh, I don't know. He disappeared off to the northeast. I'm guessing he went back to Tavar. But, hey, I wouldn't rush after him. He's probably sold your armor by now. I will come with you to Goliath. Lead the way. And follow me. And if we lose each other for any reason, you'll find Goliath to the east, at the foot of the mountain. Just look for the light from our mana shrine. 
You can see that from a good distance away. Oh, and the name's Duras. Pleased to meet you. Just lead the way. Very well. And keep up. Keep your eyes open. We're entering the hunting grounds of some of the local wildlife. And neither of us want to end up as rot boar food. Follow me. What are the ruins over there? Remnants of the old world. A reminder that the past can be left behind. If it's so dangerous, why do you come out here? Magellan almost died when the comet hit. A living, breathing planet turned to ash and dust. But the Berserkers are using their magic to bring our world back to life. Just look around you. Edan is the greenest place on Magellan. They need more people. And they offer anyone who comes the same chance to start over. We should move on. One downside of all this plant life is that you can't see the rot boards coming. Can we find anything useful there? Maybe. Maybe. A group of clerics came through this area a few days ago. A scouting party reconnoitering Goliath. Well, that was their plan. Instead, they ran into a group of rot boars. Got chased into those ruins and haven't come out. The only good enemy is a dead enemy. Those rot boars saved you a job. So, you think the value of life is decided by the style of armor it wears? Well, you'll find many that agree with you. But, for me, if Magellan is to survive, every life must count. Why haven't you joined a faction? decide whether to join a faction out here. Let's go on. Well, we have a choice to make. You're short of equipment. We could see if the clerics have left any in the ruins. You want us to go into the ruins? That's up to you. But there's a risk to that. So, maybe we should just head straight for Goliath. I better warn you that the creatures in there won't take prisoners. It would definitely be safer to bypass them for now. So, what do you think? Shall we risk entering the ruins? I want to go to Goliath. Very well. If that's what you wish, follow me. Look out! <laughs> Thank <laughs> you. 
traveled through dangerous territory before. Let's go on to Goliath. Right. Follow me. You say there were Alps in this area. How long ago was that? The raider crashed a week ago. It's been quiet since then. Well, apart from the scouting party on the edge of the forest, it feels like something serious is brewing up there in Zaycor. And that's bad news for us all. You should be able to make your way on alone from here. You can find supplies and get yourself back on your feet in Goliath. And then, the choice will be yours. So I can just leave whenever I want. You should try to get a better weapon and some armor before heading into the wastelands, but that's up to you. Have a look around our community. See what we can offer you. What happens if you find an alb here? They try and kill us, so we kill them. Except the Separatists, a group of alves that has broken away from Zaycor. Maybe they could be allies. You should not trust traitors. Maybe these Separatists want to join the Free People. Maybe they're just another threat. But I'm sure that together, we can defeat the Alps. But for now, the Separatists are outnumbered, without friends and defiant. They're already finding life is hard out here if you haven't joined one of the factions. That makes them jumpy, so I'd be careful around them. They're suspicious of everyone. Well, we have reached Goliath, but this is only the start of your journey. Look for me once you've settled in. You'll find me up at Warlord Ragnar's stronghold at the top of Goliath. Stop there. In the name of the Hooded Crows, and with a power invested in me by the Warlords of Goliath, I hereby challenge you to state who you are and what you want. You should know that Goliath is eternally vigilant in its search for Alps. Just let me into the town. Oh, you want in, do you? And you think I'm standing out here to give cakes and hugs to everyone who arrives? Is it? Is that what you think? Well, you're not getting in without giving me a damn good reason to let you in. Dura sent me here. Oh, you're one of Duras's hand-me-ons, are ya? You better think about reporting to Ragnar, or one of the other warlords when you get in then. 
They'll check you're not an Alb spy. All right, all right. You can go in. But all weapons must remain sheathed. Start anything, and a paladin will turn you to ash faster than you can say, I wish that Duras guy hadn't sent me here. Oh, and don't steal anything, or flash technology around. I don't expect any more or less from you. Understood. Good. Then I welcome you in the name of the Berserkers. Stop using that here. This is no place for technology. Comer. Are you here to trade, fight, or just add another mouth to the masses? Because unless we get help, I don't know how we're gonna keep feeding the people we've already got here. They are supposed to be able to conjure stuff up with their magic, but can they do that with supplies? Can they magic up the food we need? No, they can't. Magic up supplies? Mana, spells, magic it up, whatever you want to call it. Work here might be quite hard, physical labor, but it's supposed to be balanced out with magic. But where is the help that I need? But then, what does magic do for me when I'm hungry? In any case, I won't let myself be deceived. Even if our magic can protect us from what is out there, it is no replacement for a full stomach. What do you have to trade? You can take a look at our stock. The selection is more limited than I'd like, but it's what we have. Of course, if we weren't besieged by outlaws, albs, and we're still pen-pushing bureaucrats, I could offer you more. I need better weapons and armor. I can't help you there. You can only get that sort of thing from our blacksmith. But he'll only... <laughs> How much? A good... And the more...
Hey, what's that you're hiding? What are you talking about? There, on your arm. What is that? It's an adjuder. Haven't you seen one before? I've seen one. I've seen several. It's Elix technology, and that sort of device is forbidden to berserkers here in Goliat. Carrying a piece like that openly on your arm could get you into trouble. I'm not carrying it. It's an implant. An implant? Well, that gives you a reason for not removing it. Well, you don't look like an alb. Too much color in your cheeks, too much shine in your eyes. That and you've not tried to kill me. Still, best you know that should you find any other Elix technology on your travels, you should take it to the pit for disposal. So, what is your crime? Um, what? I am Warlord Ragnar. Patron of this berserker settlement while Master Thorold is on pilgrimage. Anyone who commits a crime must answer to me. Emissaries from the other communities also have to speak to me first. So, are you an emissary? Why are you here? Speak. I'm actually not from Udan. No. Oh. Hopefully you have good news from the other lands. Otherwise, this will be a very short guest performance for you here. So you had better think very carefully about your next answer. Again, what exactly do you want here? I need your protection. Well, Edan has become inhospitable in the last few months. But this is not a refuge camp here. Everyone who takes advantage of Goliath's protection must contribute. So if you want to be tolerated here, you must follow my rules. These rules are very simple. If you harm the Berserker community, you will pay. If you serve the community, you will receive fair compensation for it. I hope we understand one another. Because if not, you will have to answer to me. Is that clear? You're the boss. Yes, correct. The quicker you understand that, the better for you. Heed my advice, and you will find the Berserkers to be good hosts. Is there anything else? Where can I buy armor like yours? Ha! <laughs> you can't simply buy a warlord's armor. You don't even have the rank of a cultivator, let alone that of a warrior. And you want Warlord's armor? Why not? Slow down, friend. First proved to me that you would be a good cultivator. So, make yourself useful in the city, and we can talk about better armor for you. Come with me. See something more than.
Come <laughs> on. 